And just in here, I just like to say that it really appears that you guys have some animosity on this board. And I'm just going to just blatantly say that it's embarrassing. And I would like, you know, that you guys would some kind of way, if you can, you know, try to rectify whatever these underlying issues are amongst yourselves. Because it's really embarrassing for the public to see. And I think this is being recorded. And I think y'all need to really, really consider, you know, being an example for us as citizens of Newton County. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? <coughs> Um, unfortunately, I'm disappointed again. Um, just listening to you guys discuss the park itself um, in various states. I myself have been here, you know, my husband, I've been here since 2014. We were unaware that that park was um, for the county, for the public, until 2020. And I still refuse to go in that area because I don't feel comfortable. I feel that it's a part of the residence, and there's no way of parking or just being in that area without feeling like that's private property. I feel believe that the West Side facility should begin as soon as possible with the location, and there should be a deadline. It's not fair that it has been on 2017 schools. I vote every year, and I voted for that as a uh, faith and belief that we would have it. Unfortunately, we still don't have it. My son has graduated in this county, and my children are being raised in this county, and I think it's fair that our district should have a safe park and recreation. When the skate park was vandalized, you closed that gate. And I remember, you have gates on your park. Why can't we not have gates on our park? Why can't we have a, an area to enter it and not be in an actual neighborhood, I think it's only fair. Two minutes sounds like a drop, but in the facility or the subdivision in itself, that's just, it's like comparing apples to oranges. So we need to be fair amongst the district when it comes to our parks and recreation. $2.2 million being added to another um, area, and we have nothing. So I'm asking this for fairness. Thank you. Hey, can you say your name, please? My name is Ivory Cobra. My name is Jeff. Good evening, sir. Do you want to hear about his name before we get started? Do you have a committee? No, go ahead. You're fine. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman. We have been a successful up here, a different organization. We have been meeting throughout uh, the last couple of months. And we met with uh, uh, Commission uh, Mason twice. We met with uh, uh, Elena and uh, Commission Henderson. And we uh, would like for you personally to come to our next meeting, which will be uh, March the 31st. Also, if the uh, uh, Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Everett, uh, Commissioner Stan, uh, um, uh, Allen, they also vote along, uh, you know, they vote for the whole county, so they not, they not excuse me, not coming to the meeting. We need to have a meeting. We want to invite one million, I don't know what three can come at one time. Can three come at one time? <laughs> we would like to do three to come at the next meeting, March 23rd, because we have a responsibility. Citizen elected and it's so much stuff going on. Yes, we it. need we need to get uh we have had meetings, we asked uh Commissioner Mason, uh Commissioner Sanders, he said he never would meet with her. Some of this stuff needs to stop. Like Grant said before we came up, it's an embarrassment and it started again tonight. We never would we never would get anything set as long as she come up with something, he kept it. And so we need to meet. 
we need to stop this thing. Come on, we need to stop this thing. You, you get in everything, you get in everything, you don't want nothing in that dish. And every time something come up, you kill it. So, if you could, Brother Chan, you, 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 you're the leader. I don't have all this thing to do. But you can, you can bring these people together and cut out some of this stuff. You have the authority to cut out some of this stuff going on. So if you would, please, we invite you, March the 31st, to come and bring the bring, 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 uh, uh, commission town, bring the commission of uh, help they go, they go for things in this town. It's not just his dish, he goes to go in there on the dish, bring them up and get some kind of revolution. Can we get a commitment for you to come, please? You can get a commitment for me to come, uh, and I'm answering out. Let me answer after in my time. Okay. That way, ain't no, no confusion. I am, I am for my coming. Yes. Okay. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. 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 She in college now. And uh, I, I talk, I've seen a lot of things that happen in that area of the third district. And, uh, you know, and I, I, I agree with I agree with some of the stuff you said. I agree. You know, because but the community, we have to be involved in this too. We're just not in the police. We have to step up and do some of this stuff. We have to. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, I'm from the same place. You know, I understand. So we have to. I agree with you because two million have died. Whites and blacks. So don't doubt about that. So like animosity. We all have to. We all have to. Try to get this thing going. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but I'm sharing comments wherever you sit. I just wanted to say, uh, Commissioner Mason said something very important that we may have done things one way and it may not have been correct. And I believe the definition for insanity is doing the same thing, expecting just different results. I was a part of the planning, the 2009 to February 6th. I've been in February 6th for 19 months. And I heard you all talk about what we should do, share what we would do as a board. But before, they didn't bring us in again. And when we found out about it, then we came in and asked them to come to the table. So um, I think I just said earlier that we had a year meeting, and believe it or not, for 45 minutes, with the budget, we had to discuss all the other things, we were able to discuss the park. And the consensus of the park were for us, for we had to, to have, to do some recent changes. So my thing is, were you all going to, are you thinking about just deciding what you want as a board, going to the sheriff, and then maybe talk with the, okay, thank you. I hope that doesn't happen, because when I tell you, if in 2009, if the community of Fairview could get together and make some consensus and decide on having the park, that means that we're amenable to the suggestion that you all have. But we see where we are now, and we don't want to make the same mistake again. So the ideas that you may, not, may have may not work for us. We have 174 investors, and we only have 76 homeowners. That had absolutely nothing to do with us, because in 2011, when the park came, or the negotiation in 2009, had to do with, if we allowed the park to come, then the Board of Commissioners would foster us getting our HOA. So I have the history. And all I want is a safe place for everyone. And we met last night at the homeowners. I heard some terrible things about that park. And we, we had no idea. Some homeless guy was putting up a tent and sleeping. We didn't know. And we've always been open to our community. Our HOA has at least four or five different activities for our community every year. And we have a board members that have volunteer positions that literally answer that phone all time of the night. And put it, put the, uh, she puts it out on our Facebook page and our Fairview States page. So along um, and, and let the, um, the, the residents of Fairview States know about different things that happen. So we're doing everything we can possibly do. And we do have a, well, let's put it like this. We have a very active, um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Commissioner Evans, yeah, yeah, we do have a meeting. Um, to take the session, right? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll be brief. Um, uh, for those out there, we're having a uh, there will be a rodeo coming to the Georgia FFA FCLA Center November 22nd, 23rd. I believe will be the first ever there, and we're going to be part of our professional rodeo So, looking forward to that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, Commissioner, um, Commissioner um, Sanders. Yes, sir. I just want to say I attended a great meeting today with our consultants. We had the opportunity to attend the HUD meeting for all the grantees of grants today. And I just want to share some information because I've been contacted by organizations who want to know about this $4 million, what Newton County is going to do, and what's going on. So I did go to a meeting today with our consultant that the board approved for me to work with them in regards to the grant. And we got directives from HUD. It was probably like 1,500 uh, individuals across the United States that were awarded HUD grants. So it was exciting to see. So one of the things they did say, and I wanted to put this out there because there was information that was placed out there. We do. There is no hard deadline to turn in the grant information. We actually have until 2031. And so they said that they would like for us to have stuff in by December 2023. 
but they will reach back out to those who don't have their items in um, September 2025. And that's what I said at the beginning. They're not requiring all of your information to be put out there. They also stated the environmental study does not have to be completed with sending back the application and an approval letter. And any changes of the scope of project, any changes to the grant must be approved by Congress. The Congress members who granted the award, the grant amount and the statutory language is set by law. And I just want to make sure I put that information out there. Uh, Thank you, Ms. C. Uh, you know, I, just, you know, I just want to make this kind of clear because it seems like you have not clear. Every time in District 3, when we talked about purchasing that property, I think it was $6 million, I'm not sure. Ms. Monk? Yeah, Ms. Monk's property. Two, two point three well, million. Okay, I support it. And we'll continue to support it. But unfortunately, uh, I guess what District 3 is that you need three votes. And we just don't seem to have it at this point. But I will continue to support that because I believe that those kids need someone to play out there. I support the one over in District 2. In fact, I want to name it in, uh, in District 2. I support it. The purchase of the property. I support the right person of the property, Nelson Knight. And just about every part in New County, I support it because there's a, a great need. And I said all that to say this. We got to come together for the for the betterment of our community. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner Gowdy. 